Right. Sugar. This is Grenoble Bridge. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, good. Slippy. This is Whoop. Nice though. going over the bridge. <laughs> Roxy hates bridges. <laughs> Roxy, come on. Let's go. Come on. She's not bad on that bridge, is she? No, she seems alright, actually. Good girl. Good girl. Right, back over. Come on. Go on, go on Penny. Oh. <laughs> I might have figured to just go across the... That's the old Ford there. Who is see, it? Well, it is. Look, see, that's the road going up there. And he'd better gone up that little lane there. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, Roxy. Oh, you got it going. Come on, where is it? Oh, she's, she's bloody got a big girl pants on. Back up to the far one. So this is a bridge over the river for us foot, foot people. Stop there, Carla. We've got to look down here. Mm 
Old spot here would have been a Ford and the carts would have crossed here and went up the road on the right. It's a little wheel there as well. What's that? Just here. A wheel? Weir. Oh, I thought you said a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, uh, I don't know why they would have built that up. No, I suppose stop the, the river would have been too washed away, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, would have had to hit like that so you could get across that. Yeah. Just along this track, there's this beautiful little well. Yeah. Isn't it just cool, that? Is it holy? Well, they say it doesn't have any, um, what do you call it, spiritual uh, well-being in it. But... It was built by Mr. Preston from Cronk Breck in 1869. He cemented it, rendered it, and it still functions today, 160 years later. It's amazing. So this is the, uh, this would have been the original road for, to Cronk Breck. It's on the public footpath, so you can visit, visit it. As they say, take nothing but photographs and leave nothing but footprints. It is warm, Carla. I am warm. I am. I'm out of layers though. Oh, don't be shy. Your mother wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> So Carl has found Cronk Breck. Looking around, you'd be better visiting it in the winter time when the foliage has died off. Oh, lots of pricks around here. Now be careful. So what's that then? That's just the house or part of it. Here's the doorway in here. Follow me and I'll go in there you go. Just here. Follow me. Oh, it's just about your height as well. <laughs> See folks, nothing but cheek. I've to duck down for this one. Do you, do you say duck, did you? on the wall there. That's ivy. Take it to bring it down. There's the lintels but the doorway. They've come from Stony Mountain. And then we've got a huge big um, fireplace. Can we get up to that car? Yep. I'll go first. You go first. Make away from me. <laughs> Stamp down. I am. Fantastic. Isn't, Isn't this where that guy, Al, everyone used to come to him to get their feet, shoes fixed? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Preston. There was two, or two brothers lived here called Willie and Charles Preston. Um, I think William was the cobbler. I know you can't tell, above us, there was another floor. Oh, yeah, yeah there's, um, you can just see the holes in the wall. And uh, he had three windows in the room upstairs so he could get the light each day. He could move around and he was known as the news, the newsman, basically. The beam, I don't know where that come from, it could have come from um, a ship. Just watch the flies are bothering you. So uh, their father, John Preston, had six kids. He had a farm sale in 1870. 
and uh, they disappeared from this place in the 1930s so they were here over 100 years basically and everybody would come down and you get the shoes mended and have a chat and then they move on and you get the news for somebody else now for you who don't know and have not followed Carla's own word making dictionary dictionary she makes her own words up this little tree here is called a peg a tree it's actually a hawthorn but you'll find all these old ruins there'll be a hawthorn somewhere mountain ash hawthorn was for the clothes drying and mountain ash was for warding off spirits is that a little is that a little shed it would be the thigh veg now. No, that's a bit roomy. Is it? Yeah. The big people in Balmordi, you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this, this that. it. That's the mountain ash, folks, where it's dead. Oh. Ash die back. As I said, this footpath eventually winds back to the bottom of the Balmordi Strait. Yeah. No. <laughs> nice tattoo, Carla. Oh. Thanks. Supposed to say nice ass. Nice ass too. Sorry, folks. Come on, dogs, Penny. I, I think I, I think I remember it. I'm not you're right, but... Oh, hang on, folks. It's delightful walking through here, isn't it? It's a bridge. Don't fall off it. Ah! For goodness <laughs> sake, don't fall off it. <laughs> it's well signposted. Sheep up here though, so you gotta watch your dogs, folks. So that, that there's a footpath to cross this field, next field, and then the Ballamore Strait. Yeah, we had a bit of a problem this morning, my gimbal's bust. And a man without a gimbal. You've gone lost. That's short ass now, ain't you? <laughs> there's no use at all, so we've had to improvise. Just go back here, make you look taller. <laughs> Such a, an accommodating girl. <laughs> this is Carla's idea. She said she liked the video with us both. I have to say, I think she's better on the video than me. So I'm sorry about the shakings today, folks, but it doesn't stop you coming back to look at this yourself, does it? As I said, you're probably better in the orphan when you say so, Carla. Yeah, definitely when all the green is gone. Just a bit buggy though. Yeah, because today it's Horsefly City. Whoop. Hopefully we're not, there was no allergic to it. I don't think I've ever been stung by a horsefly. Mm. Yeah. Lucky girl. 
Now there is a superstition about this place, about a ghost called the Green Lady. The last time I was here, I took a picture in the river, a reflection of this little sycamore. And if you're absolutely out of your skull with drink, you could imagine it was a green ghost. Flies, flies, hot, hot, hay fever. But nice. So, lovely place to visit, though. Mm. I think we would agree it would be the autumn time, wouldn't it? Yeah. It'd be the best time. There's a lovely little bridge over it, foot bridge, and um, a lovely big uh, fireplace to view, sheds in it, and it's a sheltered little footpath. Still got a bit of the oven in the fireplace. Is there? Yeah. 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 No, I didn't. Mm, nice. A lot of those always been in Gallon's Found, really. Yeah. Yeah. Victoria Street. Yeah. Before your time. Yeah. Yeah. In my time. I was going to say, oh, that place. <laughs> I don't know where that is. <laughs> Victoria's digger boy. So we've now uh, gone off to have our snack when we go. Yeah, I've learned to. She has today. Mm -hmm. She really has. You've been so patient. 